Hi, my name is Seti, and in today's video, we're creating a self-grading quiz in Google Forms that is not only going to give feedback when students answer a question wrong, but also when they answer it correctly and give them some extension activities. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, Google Forms is incredibly powerful, and one of the things we can do with a Google Form is we can turn it into a quiz. Now, there are two ways that you can make your form a quiz. You can do this manually in your settings, or you can navigate to forms.google.com and select quiz. That's the method we're going to be using today. So here I've already gone to forms.google.com and I'm going to select create a blank quiz. Now, as soon as I click on that, we're going to open up a blank quiz and I get a new tab. Now the settings have already been changed so that this is a quiz. Now you can see that this is a quiz by looking at the bottom and seeing that answer key right there. When you see that it has an answer key, it's a quiz. If you do not see that, you can always go to the cog wheel in the top right corner and then at the top you will find a tab that says quizzes. Simply go there and toggle this switch. This will turn your form into a quiz. Now we're going to start adding our questions. Now as an example, I'm only going to ask two questions, two different capital cities. So the first question will be, what is the capital city of Belgium? We're going to give them a number of different options. So the first will be Paris. I'm going to add Brussels, Amsterdam and Berlin. So we have four possible answers, but only one is the correct one. So now let's tell Google Forms this quiz, which of these four is the correct one. We're going to go down to where it says answer key, click on that, and we're going to select the correct answer. Now in this case, that is Brussels. There we go. And we can now choose to add some answer feedback. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on answer feedback and we now get to give the students feedback for incorrect answers as well as correct answers. So let's go ahead and do that. When they have answered this incorrectly, then I'm going to say, whoops, maybe check again. Now to help them, I'm also going to add in a link. So let's go ahead and click on this link icon down the bottom. And I found this website right here that is a political map of Europe with all the countries and their capital cities. So this is a perfect link to send to your students when they got this question wrong, and then they can try and find the correct answer. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to add it right here. There we go. And then I'm going to add a title, political map of Europe. We're going to add now we're also going to give them some extension activities for when they get this question correct. So we're going to go to correct answer and we're going to add some feedback. Well done. Plan your trip to Brussels. Which five places would you like to visit and why? So they are now going to have to plan a fictional trip to Brussels and the way they're going to do that is again by using some additional links and information. First thing I'm going to add in is a YouTube video. Now I found this YouTube video here. It's all about welcome to Europe, welcome to Brussels. Let's copy that link and let's add it into our feedback. So we're going to click on the YouTube, select the URL and add this video. That video has been added. We're also going to add a link. So I found this link right here all about visiting Brussels. So let's go ahead and add that and let's add that link. And there we go. Visit Brussels and let's add the link. Now we can click on save. Okay. We have our correct answer set up. We have feedback for a correct answer, feedback for an incorrect answer. Let's add a second question. We're going to go to the plus icon, second question, capital of France. This time there's only two options. It's either Paris or Madrid. There we go. We're going to add an answer key again, Paris and some answer feedback. This time when they are incorrect, I am going to share a link with them. It's a link to this map. So let's go ahead and share that link with our students. We're going to add that in text to display a map of France. And then please check uh, the map. The correct answer will be well done, but no additional links or videos. 
well done. And let's save this. Now, what does this look like to our students? Well, we can always preview this. So in the top right corner, we have this little eye icon. This is our preview. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up the preview and we get our two questions. So what is the capital city of Belgium? Well, let's first answer this incorrectly. So we're going to say Paris. And then the second one, let's answer this correctly. We're going to say Paris. Let's submit. This is what our students will now see. When they click on view score, they immediately get that feedback. What's the capital city of Belgium, Paris, that is incorrect? Oops, maybe check again. And they have that link. When they click on the link, they're sent to that website that I shared with them earlier. We can also see that this is correct and they get some feedback well done. Now let's take this quiz one more time and let's reverse the answers. So we're going to submit another response. This time we're going to be correct and wrong. Let's click on submit and view score. This time round our students are correct, well done. And they are also asked to now start planning their trip. They can view the video from inside the forms. They don't have to leave the platform. They're not sent off to YouTube. So no suggested videos, no distractions, as well as this additional link. The other one, they got wrong and they get a link to the map of France and they can then try to figure out where they got that question wrong. And this is how you can use Google Forms to create a self-grading quiz that not only gives feedback when they get the questions wrong, but also when they answer things correctly. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Now for even more tips and tricks you can start using in your classroom, watch the suggested video. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.